<sighs> Good evening, everybody. Happy Friday. Okay. Happy Friday. <sighs> Let me grab some water. I'll be right back. Happy Friday, everybody. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, thank you for your time with me. Uh, it's a great honor and privilege to uh, have you here. And uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I did write about three pages over about two hours. And uh, chapter six is about BLM, ideology, ideological analysis paper. Uh, yeah, it's, it's already more than 50 pages. So I guess this paper... It will be about 60, 70 pages, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I've written longer papers, what uh, the low of anti gayism paper, that's like 172 pages, right? <laughs> no problem. Yeah. So, let's continue with that screenplay. We're, we're kind of like oral, orally, oral tradition narrative, right? So, yeah, we continue from yesterday, okay? So the story goes like this, okay? Just like Utah monolith. I, I read the news and then there's also California monolith and they took it down to some other people. They say some Christian guys in California who took it down. Maybe they, I, I, yeah, they say, yeah, probably their argument is like, hey, and they put a cross instead of that California monolith. It's kind of cute. I mean, California monolith. Romanian monolith, Utah monolith, very cute, okay. And then California officials, they're saying, oh, that's vandalism, you cannot take down California monolith like that, and I agree, okay, there's some Christian guys, they took it down and put cross instead. I guess their thinking was, yeah, monolith is kind of like idolatry, idol, okay. But that's not the real reason. The real reason, in my opinion, is that uh, they're just bored because of this COVID-19 lockdown. They're angry, they're bored, so they want to destroy things. And monolith, California monolith, this is just artwork. It's a piece of art, fine art, sculpture, okay? I think it's, they should have left it alone, okay? So, yeah. So, let's say, just like Utah monolith, okay? So I'm writing all these papers, right? We are screenplay writing, okay? Creative writing, improvisation, short film, short story, okay? It's all fictional, okay? Let's not lose this opportunity, okay? So let's get inspired by real events, okay? So, and some imagination, okay? So fictional imagination. So I'm writing all these papers. So nowadays, not many people are reading them. But in five years, ten years, what if it get discovered? <laughs> Oops, trouble, right? So let's say some people come all the way to Alaska to kill me. <laughs> Just like 
they destroyed Utah Monolith. That's been hiding in plain sight for five years. Once people found it, uh, they destroyed it. Oh, huh? what if that happens to me? I mean, Utah Monolith, very beautiful, very high, tall, upright. Okay, so our the papers I'm writing, my papers, it's kind of like Utah Monolith. Okay, kind of a little bit alienist, kind of like out of the world. Okay, but if in this fiction, I'll be the only target, okay, not you. Why? I'll take full responsibility, okay, for this paper writing because I wrote them, all right? So if that kind of things happen, yeah, I will take full responsibility, but even in this fiction, okay? So let's say people come try to kill me uh, because they are offended by the papers I wrote, okay? I mean, it's a fiction writing, okay, so I'd rather have them invite them to this house and have drinks, listen to their stories, if they're angry. Okay, hey guys, tell me your stories, man. So why, why are you so angry? Oh, it's because of your paper. No, I don't think so, okay. You were angry before, so some pre-existing conditions, okay. Because I wrote in the paper, if you have read it, thank you. Thank you for reading my papers, okay. Yeah, I, I wrote a hypothesis, a theory, where people who died from COVID-19, they probably have pre-existing conditions, this compromised immune system, all right? So they are the kind of people who would have died anyway. Okay, COVID-19, yeah, it just maybe quickened the death by months or years, but not very long period okay so that is so offensive for you to say that's why we are here to kill you but the thing is i uh, i don't want you to go to jail okay <laughs> do i want to die or not well i want to live of course but the thing is that's not the point okay i don't want you to go to jail for over my life my life isn't that it's not worth what that much, okay? So I don't want to go to jail because of me, right? So let, let's have some drinks, okay? I'll be all yours, all yours, okay? Uh, just tell me your stories, okay? Why, uh, I'm sorry if I off offended you, but pre-existing condition, okay? You were angry before, okay? You reading these papers, I, I, I'm very grateful you read my papers, okay? Uh, but I, I apologize if I offended your feelings, okay? And I thank you for reading my papers. And welcome to Alaska, okay? You put a lot of money to come here, okay? Uh, I can let you sleep in my house for one night, okay? But because I cannot, I can feed you for one meal and I can give you a lot of drinks, okay? But just one night, okay? Tomorrow you have to go, all of you, okay? So. Yeah, let's have some fun, okay? Yeah, just tell me your stories, man, okay? Tell me your stories. <laughs> Party time, okay? But what if there are too many of them and if, if they cannot be persuaded? Uh, then I may run away. What if they outrun me? Uh, then I may have to stop fighting them, okay? Why? Because they're gonna kill me anyway, right? So why not give it a shot? Huh? Like Bruce Lee, Jet Li style, going to the dojo, fighting multiple guys. My martial arts isn't that good. My martial arts isn't that good, okay? But yeah, <laughs> I may give it a shot. I'm not going to sit there and take it. No. Because that would not be an interesting movie, so. Huh? It, it's screenwriting, okay? So it will take five minutes, right? Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll do some martial arts too, later on, I don't know. We'll take five minutes, okay, it's just funny. Writing this screenplays. Yeah. Well, let's take five minutes. Okay.
All right, so, uh, yeah, when I was writing, uh, I was listening to this classical music, um, Edvard Grieg, Pierre Gint, is based on some European mythology, I guess. Uh, how does it go? Goes like this. Yeah, great music. It's based on some normal mythology, some European mythology, I think. Okay. Good music. Yeah. What else? Oh, it's cold. Oh. Yeah, so I've been writing to today after work about this uh, BLM, okay? So I did my best to analyze the situation, BLM ideology in a very balanced way, not to left, not to right, just like Old Testament, I think it's King Solomon who said it, yeah, do not veer to the left, do not veer to the right, just stay in the middle, okay, yeah, that's like a golden middle, middle of the road, balanced approach. I did that, yeah. Well, this is supposed to be an academic research paper, so uh, it's not some political propaganda, you know, so, yeah. Much art. All right, so, Mr. Jackie Chan, Sam Hong, Mr. Yuan Pao, Mr. Sam Hong, the three Asiatic musketeers, right? Uh, yeah, they... Mr. Jackie Chan did it all the time. The one guy fighting with multiple guys. So Mr. Jackie Chan, his style very inventive, creative. He used make use of the surroundings like wall, furniture, right? And he is fighting multiple guys at the same time. So he has to be very economic, uh, deadly. I don't like Bruce Lee very much. Okay, so deadly, yeah, very economic. Okay. And also, Jelly, his movie, uh, Tai Chi Master, right? He had Mr. Jelly and his friend running away from this Shaolin temple. Why? Because they kind of defied their master, right? Yeah, Jelly, Jackie Chan, okay, many movies. 1980s, 1970s, 1990s, okay. Hong Kong, China, right? A lot of movies is just one guy fighting many men. And Mr. Jackie Chan, sometimes he run, he tried to run away from all these so many guys, like about two dozen guys. And at, at the same time, when, as he run away, he's still fighting. He's fighting and running away at the same time, okay. Maybe, maybe I'll do something like that. In this short, mid, short film, okay, so. The uh, metaphysical Alaska monolith. <laughs> yeah. It's just some fictional imagination, all right, so. So this coronavirus pandemic, they say that's, they, that's what they say, but many of us co conservatives, we think of it as a, not a pandemic, but panic. It's just people being scared, afraid, more than necessary, all right? So 
if some friends of mine observe that, okay, so so many people, like 260,000 people died, they say they died from COVID-19, okay, and many more people are infected with COVID-19, according to testing, okay, then how many people are getting cold virus influenza, right? I didn't think about that way, that way, but some of my friends are smart and then pointed it out. I was like, oh, that's a great point. Right? So, the next question is, let's say a person has cold virus, rhinovirus, or common flu, influenza virus, okay? And not COVID-19. But if these people with good old common cold or good old common flu, if they take COVID-19 test, would they come out positive? Is current technology of COVID-19 testing, is it sensitive enough to di distinguish between cold virus and coronavirus or influenza, flu virus and coronavirus? Is it that sensitive? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. All right. This possibility is not. Okay. Then what is this? Bogus panic. Not conspiracy, but some uneducated, ignorant, unscientific panic, scare, fear. All this. That's one possibility. Nobody knows, okay? <clears throat> Is there a possibility? I should write it down. We'll take five minutes break, okay? Let me write it down and we'll take a break. Yeah. <sighs> <coughs> <coughs>
So, yeah, in the paper, I kind of wrote something like, yeah, BLM activists, yeah, they're like lawyers, they're advocates, they're not impartial jurors or impartial judges, they're activists, they have to take sides, they represent a group of people in BLM, right? African Americans who died in the, during the police arrest, that's the people they represent, right? Like defense lawyers, prosecutors, okay? So we understand that, that they are not being partial, they are being very much biased on behalf of their clients, people they represent, right? Yeah. So as a lawyer, I understand what they're doing, okay? Because advocates, lawyers, activists, they're kind of biased toward their clients, so there's some similarity there, so I know what they're doing. Yeah. So they are using racism take it. All right, yeah, so. they're making a case of racism, basically, appeal to emotion, right? Uh. <laughs> it's an interesting paper, okay, interesting paper to write and it be very interesting to read as well. Okay, so yeah, I look forward to finishing it and publishing it. Okay, I had to be very careful writing this paper, especially about BLM. Why? It, it deals with race, very sensitive, touch topic, right? And many of my friends are African Americans. Okay, so. Yeah, and I did my best to be very sensitive and respectful, okay, so. 
to all different races. My friends, they are whites, blacks, browns, every, everyone in between, okay, so... What is being written? So far, more than 50 pages. <coughs> like 52 pages, something like that, okay, so... <coughs> so far. I think it'll be about 61 pages, that would be my guess. Right. Not 70, because we are not going to talk about climate change. Climate change, we'll talk about, we'll write about that in the next paper. Okay, so, yeah. Let me grab my cell phone. <coughs> so, climate change paper, once it's written, I submit to journal in like maybe atmospheric science or Meteorology or I don't know some science journal I guess. <sighs> Let me write down some notes if you don't mind, please. So the paper title. Climate changeism. Colon. The intersection science and politics. It's very politicized science, right? Climate changeism. Okay. Yeah, ideology, ideal, ideologology. Study of ideology, yeah, this big subject in humanology, so these papers tend to be very ideological. Ah. Because we have a lot to write about ideologies, right? So, previous paper was about ideology. The paper we are writing is about ideology. The next paper will be about ideology too. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, we have to do this <coughs> to educate the future generation. Yeah. For you, if you are my contemporaries, it's about intellectual entertainment, all right? So, I'm sorry if I'm boring, but uh Yeah, this human is a place we are just laid back, right? We don't have any fixed agenda, it's just random work, right, yeah, and, uh, yeah, oh, it's getting too hot. <coughs> <coughs> So when I was writing this paper this evening, I was like getting hungry, so I ate peanuts and milk because I cannot quite cook because I'm I was in the middle of writing this paper, so I have to eat something very quick, you know. So on top of my refrigerator, there's some nice some nice potato chips too, but I was like, should I eat potato chips or peanuts? I pick peanuts because peanuts are more nutritious. <laughs> They're both fatty, right? Potato chips and peanuts, a lot of fat. But peanuts are more nutritious. So I pick peanuts. 
a lot of fiber. Oh boy. Not as palatable as potato chips, but more more more, more nutrition there. So fiber, right? Yeah. It was a good snack. Healthy snack. Peanuts. Quick source of energy. Yeah. Peanuts are kind of sweet, right? So I guess there's some it have some sugar in there and a lot of fat. It's a very condensed energy form. Yeah. Quick source of energy, so it was good. So what's in the dinner menu for for me after this? Uh frozen fried chicken wings. I have like three pieces left in the fridge, okay. So I just put some water in there and microwave it so that it doesn't get too dry, you know. Plastic container, so yeah, nowadays after this human energy episodes I watch this V TV show. Oh, it's just so well written. The plot uh, summary, this storyline is amazing, and the acting, directing, music, it was one of the best TV shows ever made, in my opinion. Oh boy. I think her name is the Diana. Is it her name like Jane Bed Bedlaw or something? Very beautiful, charismatic actor, actress, okay. And uh, Donovan, Mike Singer, right? And Juliet. Faye Grant, right? Yeah. There are other characters like Elia. Eliath? Elia? Elia? Eli? African American gentleman. Great actor. Very handsome man, too, okay. And also this this character Tyler, right? Very cool guy, right? Great actor. He was also in this movie, something like Starship Trooper, something like that, right? <coughs> I love that movie, Starship Trooper, kind of sci-fi. Written by Navy veteran, I think. Starship Trooper, yeah, some veteran. I think it was Navy. I'm not sure. Yeah. Starship Trooper, that movie is about these futuristic troops. They go to some another planet and fight all these aliens. They kind of looks like insects. Starship Trooper, I, I think that's the name of them. Let me look it up. Maybe I watched that movie in Amazon Prime. Nineteen ninety seven film, yes, yeah, Starship Troopers. If Amazon Prime has it, I may even actually purchase that movie because that movie is worthwhile watching several times. <coughs> yeah. But most likely, I continue to watch this uh, V. Yeah. Such a great story. Later on, it kind of lost the steam. Like near the end of that TV series, okay? But until then, good storyline. Yeah. Hey, happy Friday! Isn't it great, great to have Friday, right? Yeah. So some conservatives, including myself, think that, yeah, this pan coronavirus pandemic is not a pandemic per se. It's more like a panic. People are just being scared, right? Yeah. I happen to be one of those conservatives who think that way, okay. And I ex I did express that view in a small footnote in this paper, okay, so. Why in a small footnote? Well, because those are the passages that are already written, so to add something later on, it has to be in the footnote. 
Okay, otherwise it will disrupt the flow of the main text, right? Yeah. Some episodes, okay, yeah, I just put in the footnote. Oh, some relevant sections. So this Diana character, she's a scientist in this alien ships, right? Not a politician, but scientist. Not an officer, but scientist, okay? But she is also politically ambitious, you know? Oh my goodness, her acting is charismatic. She's, in my opinion, she's one of the best act actresses ever. Okay? And she's also a very beautiful lady, brunette, right? Oops, oh, what did I do? I put whiskey in this, oh, I just polluted that, oh, too bad. That's fine. Because in these fruity drinks, I only put vodka, I don't put whiskey, okay? But that's alright. Over time, it will dilute. Whiskey is made from corn, right? I didn't know until I listened to this song, country song, yeah. Rain makes whiskey and whiskey. Rain makes corn and corn makes whiskey. Whiskey makes whatever, right? Frisky, whatever. I, I don't like that part very much, but. We take five minutes break, okay? And I give some spoiler alert about this TV show. <coughs> v, the final battle, okay? Near the last scene, okay? Oh my goodness. Spoiler alert, okay? But I have to tell you about it because, oh my goodness, I, I cannot help. It was so beautiful done. Oh my goodness. Geniuses. Back in the days, Hollywood had a lot of good writers, directors, actors. Nowadays, maybe some, right? But not as much. Not nearly as much. But the golden days in Hollywood, it's like we're talking about 1980s, 1990s, alright? Maybe early 2000s, right? Yeah. What goes up must come down, right? Yeah, so about early 2000s, 1990s, 1980s, there was a cl the climax of Hollywood, right? After that, yeah, it gradually declined, okay, and then. In my opinion, okay, so. I'm sure there are some good ones there too, still. Alright, we'll take five minutes break and i give some spoiler alerts, alright? Uh, it was, I cannot help, okay? It was just so... many beautiful, aesthetically significant scenes. I'm not sure if we TV show... Is it in Congre Library of Congress or not? Let me look it up. <coughs> Let's go to Wikipedia. It's not in Library Congress. It, well, it should. It should. Okay, because aesthetically it's significant. Okay, so like movies like uh, Breakfast Club. It's in Library of Congress because of this aesthetical significance, okay? So, we show, yeah, it should be Library of Congress for aesthetical significance, okay? We take five minutes, again, then I'll tell you, okay, about this aesthetically significant scenes in V colon final battle, okay? was so beautifully done. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll take five minutes.
So back in the days in America, like black and white TV show, like I don't know when, 1950s or 1920s, 1950s, 1950s, I guess. Yeah, this this Ripley. Believe or not, right? Believe it or not, Ripley, right? The comic book writer later became TV show. Producer, right? Believe it or not, I don't remember his name. Ah, uh, yeah, Mr. Ripley. Okay, so, so I ran into that. I mean, I have seen some. <sighs> I'm sorry. Something got in my eye. It happens whenever I wash my eyes. <sighs> Flush it out. Hey. Okay, so Mr. Ripley, he came up with this wonderful TV show, Believe It or Not, 
It's about history, it's about archaeology and some strange history in the world, right? You travel around the world and it was originally like 1950s, something like that. Okay, black and white television in America, right? Replace, believe it or not. I, when I was in Korea in 1980s, yeah, they imported some American remake of that, believe it or not, TV shows, okay? Remade in 1980s, right? So it was imported in Korea, so I do remember that, watching those, some of those. Translating Korean and broadcasting Korean televisions, right? Yeah, I remember. And then recently, yeah, the Ripley's Corporation, they had this prize, something like one thousand or five thousand dollars. Okay, about this Utah monolith. Okay, yeah, Ripley Corporation still exists. Yeah, so, so I, then I, in my spare time, I started watching that Ripley's Believe It or Not, okay, so some remake in 1980s, okay. The narrator is an actor, Caucasian male, in his 50s, I guess, okay. I remembered him, okay, because he was also in Batman, original Batman 1, okay, by director... Tim Burton. Yeah, Batman was... What was his name? I never remember his name, okay. But Joker, yeah. Uh, what's the Joker's name? Jack Nicholson, okay. And then Kim Basinger. Kim Basinger. And who was the Batman in that movie? Uh, never remember his name. Yeah, and uh, this Mr. Narrator, in, believe it or not, in 1980s, he was the boss of Jack Nicholson, the Joker, okay, I remember him, fantastic actor, okay. I don't remember his name though, okay, so. So, believe it or not, one of the episodes made in 1980s, Color, American TV show, okay. Yeah, Mr. None other than Kenneth Johnson himself. And Mr. Kenneth Johnson, he's the writer, director, producer of this original V series, okay? I mean, at least he created the character, main characters in that movie, okay? The visitors, okay, so... They say he was not involved in detail, but whatever, okay? Yeah, Mr. Kenneth Johnson, he did appear in this, uh, believe or not, believe it or not, TV shows in 1980s, I remember that, okay. But when I was watching quite recently, okay, in YouTube, okay, so. Because I tried to find it in Amazon Prime, but it wasn't there, so. In YouTube, they have it, some of it, okay, so. Anyways, so V series, yeah, the, in, the initial episodes, theme song is like, goes like this. Yeah, very simple, okay? But later on, uh, they came up with a better theme, okay? It's like... It's a little bit based on the original V theme, okay? Yeah, I can see some similarity because I, I, I know some music, okay? I, when I made my movie, Therapy for Metrophobia, I, I did compose all the background music, okay? So, yeah, I can catch some similarity between two music and catch some influence, imitation, okay, yeah. You know, if you want to compose music, you don't have, it's not necessary that you know how to play some musical instruments, okay. If you can sing, <laughs> if you can sing, you can compose music, okay. Yeah, yeah 
having some musical in instruments like keyboards, it helps. Okay. When I composed all the music for therapy for metrophobia in like 2008, 2006, 2007, yeah, I had my keyboard with me. Okay, it, it does help. Okay. I also learned how to play guitar just a little bit. It, it helps, okay. And the chord, chord progression, all that stuff. But nowadays, you, you, all you need is computer software, okay, MIDI editor, okay. Yeah, they can, you, you can compose music. Huh? You don't, it's not necessary that you know how to read music, the, the scores, all this Vince Proud looking like scores. Yeah, it's not necessary. you you know how to read that. Okay. I, I do because I, I learned how to read that in, when I was in Korea. Okay. Yeah. But with MIDI editor, you don't, it's not necessarily you know all that stuff. Okay. Anyways, some spoiler alerts. <sighs> yeah, so. They used balloons. It was such a beautiful scene. Air balloons, right? Oh my goodness. To spread this bacteria that is toxic to aliens, alien invaders, okay. Oh my goodness. It was such a memorable, beautiful scene. All this. I guess it's some American tradition, these balloon flyers. Big air balloon, hot air balloon, with some basket, so that people ride on that, okay, so, it was such a beautiful scene, okay, so many balloons, I guess it's some American tradition, right, maybe in Arizona desert, something like that, okay, oh, it's so beautiful, picturesque, I cried when I was watching that. Wow, it was just so beautiful. Overwhelmingly beautiful. Okay. Balloon scene, okay. Oh. It was so beautiful. So, Diana, she kind of ran away, okay. And, oh my god, it was just so beautiful screenplay. Scripts. The lines. So she's cornered, right? But fortunately, she escaped. Okay, because she brainwashed Julie before, <laughs> before. Okay, conversion process. Okay, she's a scientist. Okay, so I'm glad she escaped. Okay, so ah, uh, love that character. Okay, yeah, villain, but still so sophisticated and intelligent kind of villain, all right? When you watch a movie, right? Yeah, they're hero and villain, right? But sometimes you kind of like the villain character. Like in Batman movie, yeah, Joker, as opposed to Batman, right? And Joker is a bad man and Batman is a good man. What's the difference? Well, there are differences, okay, because Joker kind of selfish, right? He doesn't care about human life, right? Batman, like any American Marvel or DC comic, whatever, yeah, they care about human life, right? So they want to save lives. Villains. Yeah, more of a personal ambition, okay. Yeah. Whatever. But we like some villains, right? Because they're so entertaining. Yeah, like, yeah, Batman, does he have a good sense of humor? Probably Joker has better sense of humor, right? I have to write this down, okay? It should be included in this paper, okay? So.
Let me write in the paper, okay? I mean, digitally, all right? We'll take five minutes break, okay? So, yeah. It's about role model, all right? Mr. Julie Floyd versus Mr. President Trump. Yeah, Mr. Julie Floyd, he's like liberalist's role model. Mr. President Trump, conservative's role model, right? But they are both villainous. Right. President Trump <sighs> people say oh he racism, misogyny, sexism, disrespectful, childish, not a very good role model, right? But because some of us voted for him, he's a president, very negative role model, right? Mr. George Floyd Somewhat negative role model too, because he has some ratchet, okay, criminal records, okay, so, not, yeah, President Trump, Mr. George Floyd, not very good role models, okay, so they have some, they have some negative impact to the young people, both left and right, yeah, so that's, your 2020 in America, lacking good role models, right? Yeah, I have to talk about that, okay. write about that in this paper. We take five to 10 minutes break, okay, so. Yeah.
Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Uh, so, yeah, V series, right? Yeah. Spoiler alert. Okay, so this uh, Diana scientist in the alien ship. Okay, she is also politically ambitious. <laughs> so I think I. I don't know about you. Okay, I don't know what your interest is. Okay. I, I bet you have better things to do than I do, but when it comes to me, yeah, I'm interested in politics and science, so when I s watch this V-series, I mean, she's Caucasian female, I'm Asian male, okay, it's gender, race, it doesn't matter, okay, so, but she's a scientist, but she has political ambition in this V series. I can kinda of relate to that, okay? <laughs> Cause I, I, I'm also interested in science and politics, okay, so because the next paper's title will be Climate Change Ism. Climate slash change slash ism. Colon the intersection between science and politics. So I'm interested in both science and politics. The interaction thereof, there between, okay. Yeah, there'll be the next paper, okay. Yeah. Where's my uh oh there. Scarf. Yeah, what's scarf in Korean? It's called Mahura. Mahura. That's scarf in Korean language. Korea, okay, yeah, BTS, Bangtan, Sonyeondan, okay, yeah, it means yeah, bulletproof boy group. Bangtan, Bang means prevent, Tan means bullet. So Bangtan is like preventing the bullet, it's like bulletproof. Sonyeon means boy, Sonyeondan, Tan means group. So Bangtan, Sonyeondan, yeah, prevent. Bullet boy group, like bulletproof boys, that's what they say, okay. So, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this boy boy band, okay. When they sing and dance, they kind of like too effeminate. More like LGBT community members, okay. Like, was LGBT, yeah, were well, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, right? So the second group, LGBT, gay. To me, they are kind of too gay, okay? I'm sorry to say this, okay? Maybe that's why they are so popular nowadays. In this LGBTism as a dominant ideology in some parts of the world. They go to the like billboard chart when they are singing songs in Korean. I, am I proud of them? <sighs> am I proud of BTS? As a Korean American, they are Korean Koreans, right? I don't know, like, I just, I watched some parts of their music videos and I could not continue to watch. It's, it's just too LGBT, okay? It's like, I could not continue to watch. Me, my reaction is like, yuck, right? Like, I couldn't continue to watch that they are singing and they are dancing and I, I, I could not watch, continue to watch, okay? It's like, <laughs> no. I did not like what I saw, okay? BTS. I could not continue to watch their music video, okay? It was just too LGBT, okay? I, I, I couldn't continue to watch, okay? I, I couldn't, all right? So, no, I'm not a fan of them, okay? Am I proud of them? As a Korean-American,
no comment all right no comment all right yeah. how about this oscar this academy awards was parasite the korean movie am i proud of them no why too much crime okay this violence i did not watch the movie and i won't i don't want to i don't like all this violence right parasite movie who got they got yeah korean movie they got academy awards multiple right i went to wikipedia and read some plus summary and i did not like what i saw too much violence and yeah acdc this beep this masking in black rectangle or rectangles it is acdc album cover imitation okay that's not creative that's not original some chip imitation okay so i'm not proud of that movie or filmmakers no yeah i'm korean american so am i jealous maybe sure not really okay yeah yeah i'm a failed filmmaker failed musician okay those korean people they achieved fame money power and fame that i couldn't am i jealous of them maybe okay but not really okay because Well, I'm a Christian, okay? I don't know about you, but I'm a Christian and in some Christian hymnals, hymns, songs, some gospels, okay? Yeah, we don't really care about money, power, and fame, right? Although, all the main characters in Bible, they were money, power, and fame, okay? Mr. Jesus, Christ, Son of God, money, power, and fame, right? He got a lot of money, Mr. Jesus. All these offerings, donations, okay. He had to hire an account, Judas Iscariot, okay. I mean, he was not some licensed accountant, but he took care of this money, okay, Judas Iscariot, who they say betrayed Jesus. Is that true story? We don't know. That's what they say, okay. But yeah, they say his story is written by the winners, okay? Maybe Mr. Judas Iscariot wasn't that bad, okay? There's some Western tradition about this kind of sympathy to the devil, like you have this, what, Lucifer who tempted Mr. Jesus, what's, what's his name? In some Western tradition, okay? Ahas Perth, something like that, okay? So, yeah, you, it was featured, that character was featured in some Korean novel, South Korea, back in 1980s, I think. Or 1970s, okay? The Son of Man. Like, Saram e Adel in Korean language. Saram means person, Adel means son. So, Saram e Adel, e means of. Or apostrophe s, okay? Man's son, okay? Yeah, yeah. Ahas, Paris, something like that. Arthur Schopenhauer also wrote about that character, okay? Who tempted Jesus in the desert, right? Yeah. Whatever, okay. Some obscure story in the Western history, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I'm very well read, okay? I don't often finish reading books from cover to cover, but just some couple of pages, okay? Yeah, I, I do read sometimes. Whatever. I have all the biblical characters. Jesus, King Solomon, King David. Money, power, fame, okay? so And there's some other characters in the Bible, right? Like Abraham. He was not that money, power, fame. Jacob, Israel, later. Right? Not much money, power, fame, right? Yeah. yeah, there's some other characters. Not too much money, power, fame. Okay.
Maybe it's half and half. Yeah. Which I find is very good, okay, so. Yes, yeah, some random walk, random talk. We well, just relax. Very comfortably so, right? Oh, it's Friday, so. We earn this, right? It's our night. Happy Friday. We'll take five minutes, okay? So. Yeah. yeah, we talked enough about the TV show, okay? So, we will talk about something else. Oh, maybe we we'll do some martial arts, okay? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we we'll do some martial arts, okay? So. Oh. Yeah, I'm drunk enough, I guess. We do some exercise. Oh, yeah, we talked enough, right? So.
Okay, we'll do some martial arts, okay? So, as a preliminary, have you watched any episode of this Twilight Zone black and white television show back in 1950s, 60s? I'm old school. I'm 42. Okay, maybe you're too young to know about Twilight Zone TV series. Mr. Ross Tolling or Ross Tolling, whatever, okay? Yeah, shoes fan. I have entire episodes in DVD. Okay, so one of my favorite episodes. Yeah, absolute man, absolute librarian. Okay, so keep up the books. Okay, yeah, and he asked this question: How does a man react? Okay, I'm quoting from Twilight Zone series, Absolute Man, okay, so... Because he got death sentence, right? So... In our fiction that we are writing together, okay? Yeah, Utah Monolith, okay? Five years, nobody seen it. Five years later, people saw it, spread the words, and some people came and destroyed it, all right? So our fiction, fictional clue, we take some clue from that. We are inspired by, inspired by Utah Manolith. We don't know who erected that beautiful sculpture in Utah desert, all right? Next to this city of Moab, okay? We don't know who, they, they, who made that structure, okay? Yeah. But yeah, Utah Manolith, Romanian Manolith, okay, California Manolith, okay, some people they came and destroyed it, right? Yeah, so we take some clue from that, we are inspired by that story, right? Utah Manolith, right? Five years, not many people noticed the academic research papers that I put in the online databases. There are several, okay. And maybe five years later, people discover this very erect, upright, high and tall intellectual achievement, and they got offended by it, okay, and they come to destroy me. So that's the storyline, okay. So, how does a man react? when he's surrounded by enemies, multitude, tens, hundreds, thousands, would he kneel down to the ground and start praying? Some deuce, deuce ex machina, the like motion of the God, praying for some miracle like Mr. Jesus Christ did? Or would he fight back? Using his some meager martial arts skills, the little that he knows. Or would he run away? Or better yet, would he combine all of them? all of the above, like multiple choice question, okay? Yeah, you have martial arts solution, fight them back. You have some religious tradition. Yeah, just kneel down to the ground, pray to God, hope for some miracles, right? Or would he run away? Or would he do all of the above? If you ask me, I will choose the first option, all of the above. And I'll show you how it goes. Okay. We have screenplay, okay, creative writing, improvisation, okay. And alcohol helps, okay. <laughs> it's not illegal drug, okay. Yeah. Cigarette smoking, guys yeah, smoke oh smoking cigarette too, okay. Nothing illegal, okay, frowned upon, alright, but nothing illegal. 
to some immoral whatever okay so all right i show you how it goes okay so yeah yeah let's say uh five ten years later all these people from all around the world come to alaska to kill me because i offended their feelings so let's say there are hundred of hundred of them okay oh i kneel down to the ground oh please god please forgive me i have sinned i'm sorry i apologize but they are satisfied all right they are still coming at me right inch by inch foot by foot with their nunchucks and knives samurai sword and guns rifles okay Oh God, please, people, you people, forgive me. But they are not convinced. They are angry, right? They don't care about religion or science reasons, okay? They want to kill me, okay? We are f fiction writing, okay? Screenplay, right? And they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take this, right? Well, yeah, and then start to like, yeah, roll like uh, to the left, front and back, okay? Yeah, I have to use this, you know, right? And then I start running, and you know, because some of the belts I use is longer than I need, okay? It's beautiful, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I have no weapon, okay? In this movie, fiction, this one came at me, right? So I have to roll left and right and front and back, right? That's some rolling, okay? When you roll, you use your shoulder, okay? Oh, like this, okay? Oh. Oh, roll to the back, use your shoulder, okay? So that you don't hurt your neck bone, okay? Oh, like, oh, Woo! and yeah, I have to do all this, right? <sighs> I'm sorry if I disappointed you because my martial isn't that good, okay? So maybe it's because I'm hard, okay? Yeah, maybe we'll take this off, okay? Oh. Oh, oh, you people like surrounding me to kill me, okay? Yeah, I fight you like this, this, like this, this, like front, back, side, side, this, 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 oh, oh, oh. this, this, oh, oh, this, ah, ah. Go under and jump. This, this. Yeah, come in. Okay, yeah, that's what I can do. Sin cut. Yes, take a breath. Whew. It's good work out, okay? So when you practice much art, you think about these scenarios, right? Good motivation. Yeah, like Mr. Gospod and Stanislavski, right? Yeah, method acting, right? Yeah. Whew. You're infusing yourself, immerse yourself to this kind of real, supposedly real, plausible situation, okay? This method acting by this Russian theatrical actor, acting coach, Mr. Stanislavski, okay, so, method acting, okay. Yeah. Theater, right. It's good, it's very therapeutic, and when we act, 
we do some martial arts too, right? Yeah. We take five minutes for everything. Let's put some oxygen in this room, okay? So. Whew. I'm getting old. <laughs> yeah, we'll take five minutes break, okay? Maybe ten minutes. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right.
Okay. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so yeah, my martial art is not very good. Okay, so let me turn on the hero, right? So yeah, martial art. Let's do some martial art, okay? I have to use chopsticks, okay? It's wooden chopsticks, okay? And I will show you some dagger style martial art that the little that I know, I'll share it with you, alright? Especially for ladies. Why? Look, there are some bad guys out there, animalistic. Serial rapists, serial murderers, alright? If you are a lady, okay, yeah, they may come at you, alright? You cannot rely on police officers, why? They are not gods, they are people. Police officers, they are so far away. They are people, they are not omnipresent like God is. But, knowledge is like God, if you know my heart as a female. If you know martial art, you're ready. Because knowledge is like God, it's omnipresent. Yeah, lots of martial art, okay. I have chopsticks, okay. Wooden chopstick. Yeah, back in the days in earlier human art series, we used these blunt steak knives, right? Made in China, okay. So, yeah, blunt Walmart. Steak knives, that's what we used to use. But nowadays, we have to be politically correct. Okay, so we we'll use, not nunchucks, but chopsticks. Okay? Wooden chopsticks. Okay, so. Yeah, you have to learn, if you are female, how to use some weapons. Okay? Yeah, frontal grip, back grip, okay? Conversion between. Right? Yeah. Frontal grip and back grip, okay? You open your middle finger, is it too fast? You open your middle finger, okay? You're not flipping any fingers, okay? Not, not like F you, it's just hinge point, okay? Middle finger is the longest, right? Right, okay? So yeah. Test the basics, okay? I mean, I was so fascinated by this Steven Seagal and Tommy Lee Jones movie, Navy Seal, okay, so, yeah, this, spoiler alert, okay, yeah, this Mr. Steven Seagal, he went to Japan, learned, learned some Aikido in Japan, okay, which is fantastic martial art, okay, so, I know some, yeah, rotation, yeah, take adventure of this big opponent, inertia, okay, rotation, okay, yeah, I learned some, okay, so. But in this Navy SEAL movie, probably in 1990s or something, okay, Tommy Lee Jones and Steven Seagal, right? Yeah, beautiful. Dago style, right? Right, right, yeah, beautiful. Dago, short knife, right? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta learn that stuff if you're female, okay? Because there are guys out there, okay? Kind of animalistic, right? Rapists, murderers, when they commit rape, they want to kill you to prevent witnessing testimony, okay? So that's the mindset of a murderer, rapist murderer, okay? So this some animalistic guys, when they rape women, they kill them too. Why? They, want, they don't want to go to jail, okay? So get rid of these witnesses. That's their mindset, okay? How do I know? Are you a rapist and murderer? Hmm? 
I'm not, I'm low-biting, hard-working citizen, ladies, okay? Are you a rapist and murderer? Well, I said, I'm not. Yeah, we understand, okay? Some ladies, okay, in my past, I have, I used to date. Not as much as I wanted to, but I tried to date a lot. Didn't get many, but I did date some kind and generous ladies, and they would tell me, Are you a rapist and murderer? I, oh, no, 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 I'm not. I have a good job, okay? So, no, I don't want to go to jail. I'm not rapist and murderer. Hmm! But I'm scared. Insecure, okay? You are not Donald J. Trump. You are not Joe Biden. Are you trying to rape me and kill me? Oh no. I'm not a criminal. <laughs> just wanted to spend some quality time with you. Why do you say that? Oh, because you are male and I'm a female, okay? And I'm kind of scared. I'm in insecure, okay? Okay, yeah, we understand you, okay, yeah, but guess what? Not every male is a murderer or rapist, okay? Many of us, many of us, we may be desperate for female attention, but some of us have some moral, morality and ethics. Some of us are very religious. Okay, yeah, so no. We, we are nice guys, some of us, okay. Yeah, there are some bad guys out there, but at least some of us, we are nice. We are not criminals. I understand you in this day and age, actually, the entire human history, okay. Always there's some bad guys out there, animalistic, okay, they want to rape and erase the evidence witnesses. They rape, murder. It's, there are some of them still, and back in the days they were there, okay, but the rest of us, we are not dead. We don't rape. We don't have to get into bed, okay, it's our first date, second date, third date, fourth date, fifth date, sixth date, seventh date, eighth date, ninth date, tenth date, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, but some of us guys, we have good parents, good education and discipline, okay, so we know how to wait for the right timing and right places, we have enough patience, discipline, we are strong inside. We are not like some other guys, criminalistic animals. Some of us guys, we know how to wait. Some bears, Alaskan bears, they know how to wait too, okay, so. Yeah, you want more time, no problem, okay, so. You want to break away, divorce, break up, no problem, okay. Yeah, get some other guys. I get some other hours. Okay, no problem, okay. Freedom, liberty. You go away, your way, we go our ways. Females, males, okay. No problem, okay. We are low hard hardworking citizens. We are not criminals. Not all of us, men. Some of us, males, we are respectful, although we don't subscribe to feminism, but we respect females, women, okay? Scene, cut, okay, yeah, creative writing, okay, so. So yeah, we invite females to learn some martial arts, okay?
Ja. Okay, ja, Chopsticks, okay, ja, yeah, whatever, right, Kitchen Knife, whatever, okay, Blade, whatever, okay, ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. We need females anywhere in the world, long martial arts, so that they can protect themselves from these serial rapists, serial murderers. People, we don't want to see that anymore, okay, we don't want females to be victims of violent crimes, right, we want females to be like Wonder Women, to be strong, beautiful and to fight back to this animalistic bad bestial males out there right yeah we males some of us we want to teach females some martial arts so that they would not they don't have to call us males we are like drones Like honeybee, drones, we are lazy. You're in trouble? Yeah, don't call me. Don't call us males, okay? We are drones, we are lazy, okay? We just want to drink beer and wine, whiskey and vodka, okay? Don't call us, don't, do not call me when you are in trouble, okay? Do not call me when you are in trouble, okay? Don't call us males. Learn some martial arts and take care of the business yourself, okay? Just fight them off, all right? Lots of martial females. We don't want to come rescue you. We are too lazy. We are drunk. We don't want to drink and drive. We don't want to go to jail. DUI. No. Yeah, you females, okay? Lots of martial and take care of the business yourself, okay? We are not gods. We are not. Police officers, okay? You cannot always be there for you, okay? You have to take care of yourself. Fend off all this male attention, unwanted male attention, okay? Lots of martial arts, okay? Because we guys, we are too lazy. We cannot be there for you, right? Not 24 7, 365 year, year after year, okay? Yeah, be a wonder woman, okay? Learn some martial arts, okay? How, learn how to kick, punch. Yeah, go to YouTube. Or oh, some other websites. Learn how to kick, how to punch. Yeah, learn some jujitsu. Alright, how, how to learn some grab and twist and even break if necessary, okay? Learn some Kung Fu, this martial arts, no weapon style, no weapon style, every part of your body is your weapon, your elbow, whatever, okay, knee, okay, and learn some weaponry too, right, yeah, learn how to use weapons, okay, so that you don't have to come, and come for you when you are Surrounded by your enemies as a female. Be a wonder woman, okay? So that we guys we just sit back and watch this Wonder Woman movies. We are like drones, lazy, honeybee drones, okay. Yeah. Beautiful figure, pretty face, model type slender and Yeah, Wonder Woman, yeah, movie, we guys, we are lazy, yeah. we prefer you protect yourselves, okay, we just want to sit back and watch the show, okay, yeah, yeah, I love martial arts, okay, Wonder Woman, be Wonder Woman, man. so that we don't have to do anything, okay, we, we guys, we just sit back and watch this Wonder Woman movie, okay, so, Yeah, protect yourselves, okay? Okay? See him, come. <laughs> Alright, so we had enough fun, okay? So, happy Friday, good night, bye.